Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. And as you can see here, I got a whole bunch more logic that I got tonight. And I logged back in after uh, recording last night, and I'm like, I've got to fix this. I've got to get this working. And I showed it off in the live stream. It does work, but there's a, there's a short in there somewhere. So I'm, I'm going to have to figure that out. Anyhow, <clears throat> huge shout out to, um, let's see, who was it? It was Caitlin and PJ and uh, Steve. Deed and Merrill 2014 slash 2018. Shout out to you guys. I'm sorry I was inside the server and for some reason as I drove across um, the bridge it like got locked up and then all of a sudden the whole thing crashed. I am so sorry <laughs> but I had to jump out and here we go. So um, I'm now in a private server all by myself. Um, we've got delays. I've got the delays back. So these are what I'm actually wanting. Let's move this. We'll get this out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> this needs to rotate. Uh, two more. There we go. Okay. So there's the end of the delay right there. And I've got to move this to here, I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can build to the sky. <clears throat> There's that. So, oh, and uh, timer delay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this should go cycle one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's that's my cycle count. So I was trying to get a four count like clock cycle but I can't have it finishing on the last one I've got to got to switch it um, by the way those are very inconsistent um, hmm what's going on here is there like a, a little bit of a lag delay or a lag spike in between these hold on let's move these out of the way we're just gonna break this whole thing down move it's a little bit less of a delay there's still a little little blip in there. Let's turn this off. We've got to make sure that there's no blip. Okay. There we go. Nice and solid. Nice and solid. Oh, there's a blip. There's blips. I think that's just due to the lag. So the three signals are one, two, three, and four. And on the fourth one, this one turns off. So in between one and four, it's always going to be an inverted signal. <clears throat> so for those of you that are not following along or not, uh, not understanding, basically I'm going to have eight signals going out at one time, two on each cycle, and it's a four cycle count. <clears throat> so, um, let's just call them, uh, outputs a, a, b, c, d. And then E, F, no, I, I don't want to use, because then it's not like binary. <clears throat> okay, so one through four, and then A through D. One through four, A through D. So as one goes um, positive, A goes negative. Two goes positive, B goes negative. All right, so that's, that's how that's going to work. <clears throat> And if I'm not making any sense, that's okay. It's fine. It's it's logic. And by the way, thank you for all the comments. I know that the first episode of this creation was like... <sighs> but I've got it now. I've got it. It really, really frustrated me that I couldn't figure it out the first night. <laughs> I wonder if there's a better way to get uh, signals to pass. Because I don't want one of the doors going and then like breaking on me. So let's just move all these out the way. And I also got some more inverters and I uh, got some AND gates and stuff like that. So <clears throat> if we need to do something along that lines, we can. Finished. Okay. Let's see. 
What can we use to stabilize the signal? I think a double AND switch would be fine. Maybe. So let's go rotate, 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 like this. Put that one there. And then this. Hello! Thank you for the subscribe. <laughs> we'll go up to here. Hold on. Can I come straight off of it like that? All right. Let's uh, hit B. Here we go. Come straight up like this. Like that. Finished. Okay. It's a nice, solid line. Oh, that's an OR switch. Hey, that'll work. OR switches will work. Uh, how many ores do I have? There's an ore. Okay, we're gonna put another ore right here. Like that. And an ore switch. Perfect. Wonderful. Uh, you might be asking why I'm putting the ore switch there, and that's so it stabilizes the signal. Um, I want a nice solid signal to go to the, uh, uh, to the hatches themselves. So even though there's like blip, 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 like that, it won't bug us too bad. The Okay, here, and come on. <clears throat> there we go, finished. So, okay, I've got to turn this off. Turn off, off, off you go. <laughs> right, okay. Use the wires that are in front because those are the wires that are going to be in my way. And then right here. Come up to here. Okay, right here. Finished. And that last one should be fine. Okay, move. By the way, this is uh this is all logic. No, don't know how real the logic is because there's no voltage. But no voltage, no amps, no direction. Three, four. Nice. That's amazing. Okay, there's a little bit of a stagger delay on that first and the last one, but that's okay. That should that should work for our purpose. <clears throat> so, the first one's going to be one, two, three, four, and then A, B, C, D. So, um, let's run one and A to this corner. One and A. Actually. Let's just run one. So, let's go, hold on. I don't know if I like it being that close. Am I going to be able to go that close? I wonder. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough line. No. Okay. There's, yep, that's not gonna be long enough. No. Oh, please. Hold on. Can I go straight over there? Oh, goodness. Barely. Barely reaches. Okay. And then that one I've got to take off right here. I, I moved that in last night to try and just get it working. It didn't work. <clears throat> and then two will go to this one, so I'm gonna have to move the ball. Hold on. There we go. Excuse me. Stay. Good. I think I've only got one ball on here. Ooh, it's no good. And then two. I'm gonna have to run it down here and then up. Two. Then three will be right there. 
I just realized I'm, I'm kind of doing these in reverse order, aren't I? I should have had them lined up over there. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Come up here. Oh man. Not enough room. That's okay. We'll stop it right there and then I'll grab another wire. Oh. Three. Oh wait, it's right there. Oh, it's like right there. Oh man, hold on. Yep, I gotta come this direction and then I can go up to there. Three. Oh, move. Oh, should I cross over the wires? No, let's not cross wires here. Oh gosh, I can't, I cannot get close to that other wire or it will give me a short. And yes, there are shorts. Uh oh. Is that too close to that other wire right there? Ooh, maybe. Okay. Let's go here. Go right there. to make sure that they're not wait is this going to oh, okay okay the hatches I'll show you something that I've learned uh, I don't remember who showed this to me but if a wire runs through a hatch it breaks its signal or if a hatch runs through a wire it will break its signal one two three four Good. One, two, three, four. Nice and stable. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> let's just drop this down here like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, try that again. Drop the ball like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a short somewhere. Oh no. Wait, was that it right there? Okay, stop. <clears throat> Drop the ball in. What? Okay. Drop the ball in. One, two, three, four. And then this one should go up and go five, six. Uh oh, I gotta move these. No, the ball's gonna fall. No, don't fall, dude. No. And off it goes. <clears throat> okay, let's get these out of the way for the moment. There we go. Maybe I should just trigger it one time and then have a delay on each one of these to like send it up. What do you think? Where are you going, dude? It's just on its own little path. It's path to nowhere. By the way, if you happen to have a base and it explodes and you have balls in your base, they usually end up at the bottom of, uh, of um, where is it, uh, the, the wood drop off? Just underneath the conveyor belts. So if you lose a ball, look at, look there first. Unless it like went flying off the volcano somewhere. Ooh. Good luck. <laughs> okay.
this works. I mean, the servers. Hold on. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. But. Hmm. Maybe I should just put a whole bunch of delay timers on it. And then trigger it down here somehow. What do you think? I'm thinking yes. Yes, let's do that. I've got lasers, so I always trigger it off of a, of a laser. Wait, what is that? That's not an <laughs> All right, hold on. Laser. Come here. Come here, you. Okay. Move this out of the way. Let's rethink this because I don't like the, the fact that it's not going anywhere. Finished. Move. Finished. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. So I need ten delay timers. Which I think I just happen to have that many. That's awesome. Come here. Come here. We're going to re re redo all of this. Because I don't like the uh, the instability of the the timer. Move and move. There we go. Move. Get that wire out of here. I know. I know. I know. I've done a bunch of building and a bunch of logic and. Still not much results, but at the same time, you guys are seeing this in real time. So this is the logic, how it works out as I'm doing it instead of, uh, instead of just like walking through and demonstrating what I've made, I'm actually showing you what is made. <clears throat> the other one that went really well with this was the, uh, the on-screen display. So if the, it was the binary to decimal converter. That one was really good. That was a that was a good episode. A couple of episodes. I think uh, I went three episodes of that, trying to get it to work properly, and it worked, and it was amazing. We had digital displays of binary numbers. If you haven't seen those, <clears throat> okay. So, um, all right. Let's move this one. Rotate. Rotate, rotate. I'm gonna move you right there. Cool. And then we'll give another laser. Laser. That one right there. We'll move you right there. Another laser. We'll move you right there. And that should be all the way across, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that that'll that'll trigger something. Um okay, I had this one underneath to stop the ball from rolling down, but we don't have to stop it right there. We can stop it over here somewhere. So now I need the detectors on the opposite side of these. So it will detect when the signal is stopped. Um, rotate, rotate. Just like... Oh, one more. There we go. Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to start at the back one, though. So let's go right here. Is that one... That's too far. Wait, can we get a... Oh, ooh, we can get a fourth one. Do I have a fourth laser? Please tell me I've got a fourth laser. Fourth laser. No! 
Did I get any lasers while I was over there? No, I didn't. I think I've only got three. One. Wait, where's my other detector? So wait, I've, I've missed out on the detectors as well? No. Okay. There we go. That one's good. Oh. Move. Can I get it over there? There we go. Good, good. And... I had a, another one somewhere. Two will work for now. They'll be fine. Did I run over it? I wonder. Hello? Nope. Didn't run over it. End times. Okay. That'll be fine. So, these wires will have to be attached. Should I put the detector over here? No. Let's, let's put it towards the middle. And we're going to go here to here. Vanished. No, we can't do that. Move. Oh, we're going to have to have an OR gate. This OR that. Right? And it would probably behoove me to put a fourth one on there. So right there. This or that. Which will turn the signal off. Right? No, 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 no. That's not what I want. <clears throat> I'm going to want two inverters on those. So, move. Let's see, which direction are we going? We're going that, that way? Yeah, all right, move. So I know you can't really see what's going on here, but basically if the laser is on here and the laser is detected, it gives you a signal of on. Now with an OR switch, the inputs one and two, it doesn't matter which one goes on, the output will be on. So I need to invert the signal that's coming from the detector so it will um, turn on instead of off. Oh, get in there. Come on, come on. Please, one more. Please, please. Eh. Okay, you, move. It's time to move. You, come here. Get in there. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. And wait, how's that rotated? Okay, that's just how we need it. Oh, come on. Good. Good. There we go. So, when the ball drops in here, it should give me a one on the output. Unless it doesn't hit that laser. Come here, you! No! Run away! <laughs> Maybe I should probably build up the outside of my base first before starting to experiment with things that can roll around on me. All right, drop. There it goes. Yep, I'm gonna need a fourth one. So that turns it on. And that will turn it on. But I'm gonna need to move this logic over one and that logic over one, and then combine the two together come over here. So we can have one on any one of them. That'll work. <clears throat> so, but it's amazing that it takes four lasers just to do that. So, let's see. On the first hit, I'm going to use a sustain. That is one of these, right? Move. And it's going to be at max capacity. Right? Right. I think. So we're going to go this way. This is just for experimentation. Finished. 
this is going to go full signal. Then when this goes off, it'll still hold that signal in there for just a little bit. Hold on, I can't, I can't set it off without. There we go. We'll grab this out. That seems to go really fast, though. Hmm. <clears throat> but that's also like. It hits, boom, your full signal, and then it'll sustain it. So, whoa, 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 code, what are you doing? I was going all crazy with my hands. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, how far along are we? We're 25 minutes into the video. Come on, code. All right. Um, first delay timer. will be right there. Move. And we're going to go from here to here. Finished. And we're going to go from here to here. Finished. And then from here to here. Oh gosh. Okay, so I think that will work. That should work. Just going to try. Here we go. And drop. Mm. Oh, it would have worked if the glass was there. It would have worked. It would have been amazingly awesome. Okay, we should have an invert switch, so whenever a ball drops in, okay, that makes more sense, right? Yeah, of course it does. Totally. All right. And rotate. How close do I want these? That might be too close. Mm, it'll be fine. It's fine. Move the wire. And I think I can piggyback off this one, can't I? Maybe. All right, let's go try. Come here, Wobblehead. Nope, that did not work. Move. Wait, 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 wait. That's what's going on, okay. I need to come off this side. Ooh. Kind of stretching it out there, aren't I? Oh, whoa, wait. The wobble head wasn't supposed to move. Wobble heads aren't affected by hatches. Well, maybe they are. I did not know that. Crazy. I guess when they're in their physical form, yeah. Oh, <laughs> come here, you. Silly. Okay. <laughs> ah, see? I knew you didn't. You weren't affected. Uh, all right, so the ball is affected because it's still moving. It's still physical. That's why it's getting affected. Once an object becomes stationary, it no longer gets affected by the, uh, the hatches. Which is also why when wood is moving along a conveyor belt and you have a hatch come up and it stops, if it stays in place for too long, that hatch, if it moves, it won't matter. The physics don't allow for it. So, okay. Um, now that we've got that, move and go here to here. Uh, up to, oh gosh, I can't see in there finished. And then this delay timer. Move you right over here. Rotate. Good. Oh, got stuff in the way. <clears throat> Move. 
come off this one. By the way, there is no like specific way to do this. If you want to hook up your wires in a different manner, or if you've got a different logic pattern that you want to go through, absolutely, I encourage you highly to like experiment with these um, with the logic chips. If you need to know how to read the um, logic gates, um, I have a video on like how the logic works. So go check that out. Also, there's tons of um, YouTube videos on how to um, work with. ICs, integrated circuits, and stuff like that. Um, these are considered simple circuits, I think. Finished. So, all right, let's give this a try. Ball comes down, ball rolls in. One, two, Three, four, amazing. And then we'll just, we'll keep going with the delays. And that was much more stable. One, two, three, four. That is so awesome. <laughs> okay. I like that much better, by the way. That's a sustain. Don't need any more sustains. Sustain. Okay. Um, I think these are all sustains. Sustain. 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 I bought way too many sustains and not enough delays. Sustain. Sustain. What about this one? That's a sustain as well. Let's move you over with the other sustains. There we are. Nope, wrong direction. Rotate, rotate. I'm just going to move all of these so I know that these are all in one little bunch and what they are. It's going to start looking like Code Primate Labs here in a second. Oh, have I gone over my time? I've probably gone over my time, haven't I? That's okay. And last one. Last one. Oops, oh dear me, goodness. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, looks good. It's good. It's gonna be amazing. And I should be able to put the plates back. Let's make sure that the the glass panes can go back in. Yeah, they'll be fine. And I should be able to move this one. Rotate. Goes in just like that. Because <clears throat> I, I don't need the bottom of the hatches. Like, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Alright. But we'll move them off for just now. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave that one there. We'll we'll take it off next time. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Confusion Confusion Logic. <laughs> With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, Lumber Tycoon 2, on Roblox. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really your choice in the end. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. This thing, I'm, I'm going to keep working on it, and we're going to get it built. It's going to be amazing. Promise. Outro.